Welcome back to Heath Rouse Barbecue. As you all know, we're back from the World Championship, and what can I say? Practice makes perfect, like I tell you every single time. First place ribs, this is our first official video after the Memphis in May, and what am I gonna cook? Prairie Fresh Primes. What brought me to the stage and got me the big trophy? Except today we're gonna cook my style of ribs, what I eat at home in my backyard. Let's get started. We've got our Prairie Fresh Prime baby back ribs out of the pack. And I can tell you the strands of fat and the marmaling in these ribs are phenomenal. Now, to be honest with you, these ribs are pretty even. They're pretty thick rib. I'm not gonna trim anything off of them. This is not a comp style rib I'm cooking. This is just a good eating rib at home. Now you can start with a butter knife. You can start with a, a paper towel or whatever you want to skin your ribs. Be sure that you get your membrane off. For me, I'm going in it my old school way right here and I'm gonna just work my way under that and I'm gonna rip it right off. Now, it gets slimy, you may have to get a towel, but look at that, right off right there. That's what we're looking for. Now, if you have a different way of doing it, by all means, skin the ribs your way. And I will tell you, having a cold set of ribs this works better with a cold set of ribs while skinning or trimming ribs. If you've got a lukewarm rack of ribs, it's gonna be really hard to trim up or tear the membrane off. Now, once we've got our ribs, all the membrane off, there's only one thing left to do. Pour a little mustard on and then a little dry rub. I'm gonna rub that in there. Now remember, you can use oil, you can use water, you can use anything you want. It doesn't matter, there's not a preference on a binder. If you don't want to use one, please don't. It's completely up to you. Now that we've got the mustard on the backside of our ribs, the first thing that we want to do is lay down a good base layer of garlic jalapeno rub. Now you always want to be sure which way the wind's blowing because this right here can get a little sneezy. Now, I'm gonna come back with a layer of pecan rub here and then I'm gonna come back with a layer of my hot rub. I'm not getting crazy with the pecan. You just want to layer these flavors on. Now, I'm going to come back with a little bit of that hot rub. Now, this hot rub just got all around good color. It's not hot. The heat cooks out, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, you just want to pat it in. Let it sweat if you want to for 10 or 15 minutes. It doesn't matter. These are not comp ribs to me, so I'm not following my exact timeline. Now that we've got our backside done, we want to roll right into our top side and repeat the process. Now, we're gonna let these ribs set here about 15 minutes on the top here. We can pat them some. Now, my grill's gonna be up to temp in a few minutes. We're cooking on the Outlaw patio model. We've got it running about 300 degrees with some roll oak charcoal and some center cut hickory wood. Now we're gonna check our pit and get ready to put our ribs on. All right, we've got our Outlaw patio model running at a smooth 300 right here. We wanna get our ribs on. Now, you can see how the rib starts out in there and winds up wide. Usually the narrow end is a little bit thicker. I'm gonna call that the roast end of a rib. And so I'm gonna put that closest to my firebox right here. A lot of times in competition, if it rises up too much, we come in here with a knife and fillet that off. But for eating at home like I'm doing, my style of ribs, I'm leaving it on there. I want all the meat we can get. So let's go ahead and get it on here. All right, the ribs are on. We're going to get the door shut. Put another stick of hickory wood on. We're going to be good for about 45 minutes, and then we'll check them. All right, our ribs have been on the grill a tad over two hours. They've been running almost 300 degrees the whole time. Let's get in here and look at them. Now we did spritz them at the one hour mark and at about 45 minutes while I go, look at that color. That is incredible. That's what that outlaw patio, that right there is what wins world championships, folks. Look at that color coming off this pit. Incredible. Oh yeah, let's get them over here and get them wrapped in some butter bath. All right, guys, I got my ribs off the grill. You can see they have a beautiful mahogany color from just spritzing them with some water on the outlaw, running with some hickory wood and some royal oak charcoal. 
Now I've got my hole, I've got it doubled over here because I don't want to puncture any holes in it. Now, when you're cooking such a meaty slab of baby back ribs and the way the bones are, you always want to make sure you double your foil. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay one of these slabs bone side down and I'm going to grab the other one and lay it bone side down. Now, let me get this up here in this pan. I like wrapping a rib when it's laying in a sheet pan like this. It makes it easy so none of your butter bath runs out. Now, for this butter bath here, you can see it comes in a resealable bag. You take three quarters of a cup of water and you take a quarter cup of this right here of butter bath. You mix it up and you pour it over this right here. So I've got enough in here for two slabs, pre-made up. I'm gonna pour about half of it in here. And you see, I'm just going on the back of that rib just like that right there. Now, today I mixed this with water. I didn't have any apple juice here at home left. I normally wrap with apple juice, but it's okay to wrap with water too. Now you just wanna go in here, close that up, and close the ends up. Now we're gonna get the other one repeated, and we're gonna get them back on the pit for about an hour or a little over till they get tender where we want. It's gonna be somewhere around 206 to 208 degrees. All right, our ribs are off the grill. Our Prairie Fresh Primes have cooked for about three hours and 20 minutes. We've had a rest time of about 45 minutes. We carried these ribs to about two, between 206 and 208. You can see that, oh yeah, look at that color. Now I'm just gonna turn them face down on the pan here. Move this butter bath liquid over here. Let me unwrap this one. Now look at that, you want that wiggle? That's that world champion wiggle right there. Let's lay that back down. Now, get that out of the way. I've took my sweet sauce and my vinegar sauce and mixed them 50-50. That's how I like eating these ribs. You can use any sauce you want or just my sweet or just my vinegar. It's whatever you prefer or somebody else's, don't matter. Now I'm gonna get this basted on and remember, we're going to put these back on the grill to tack up. These Prairie Fresh Primes got a lot of moisture in them. Really meaty rib. Oh yeah, these have the perfect color right here. And when we get them back on the pit with this red sauce and tack them up, it's going to be even better. Now, the only thing that I like doing to my ribs, believe it or not, before I put them back on the pit, I like making them Memphis Muddy style. And what I mean by that, once I get some sauce up here, I like to take a little bit of my original sweet rub and come back over the top right here. Just a little bit. Now, I also do this in barbecue contests. I've done it at the World Championship with that sweet rub. Now I'm gonna get these back over here on my outlaw pit for about 15 minutes, let them glaze up, and we're gonna be ready to eat some ribs. All right, our Prairie Fresh Prime baby back ribs are off of our outlaw smoker. So just to recap, we lit our pit with some rolled oak charcoal. We used some center cut hickory wood to get it up to temp. We run about 300 degrees. We let our ribs cook at 300 degrees, like I said, for a tad over two hours. And then we wrapped them up in butter bath for about an hour and 10 minutes. Pulled them out, let them rest for about 45 minutes. Put them back in the pit after we sauced them with a 50-50 mixture of our sweet and vinegar sauce. Now this, and then after that, we come back with a little sweet rub on top for a little muddy, to muddy that bark up. Now after that, I don't do anything to these ribs, put them back on the pit to tack up like I said, pull them off and they're ready to eat. This is my style of rib, what I eat at home, it's my style of rib when I go out in a restaurant, a muddy version around Memphis. Uh, it's just a good eating rib. So remember, if you just want just a good eating rib for any of your holidays or any of your parties, you really need to give this recipe a try. You won't be disappointed. All right, let's get in here and cut this rib and try it. All right. Oh, all of them look so good. Let's see here. Oh, that moisture in that. Mm. Mm. That's what you're looking for. You want that bite. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week 
with another recipe.